troops are turning about again. Oh, oh, call me down. down. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? 
for criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. 
Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Garrity? It'll bite us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends and change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck.
did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter.
What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. It wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth breaking around though. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here and going the right way. wants to show me something more. Just had a field day. Still worth a closer look. What now, you piece of film? Thank <laughs> you. 
examine that horse carcass. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kiddie. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream, then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another time. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. By the debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted. 
brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. <laughs> so here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex send you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that 
creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. We were alone. No one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher? Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tomorrow must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. Even the gods went for our misfortune. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. 
Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? The sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in Oxenfurt, you say. Well, maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Wouldn't get my hopes up, though. I shall try. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Incidentally, what of my Annie? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot, and I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's to good company. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. 
Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself? I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri! Don't you embarrass us! <laughs> Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. <laughs> 